Okay guys, uh, this is my uh, Motorola Defy Part 2 and um, I'm going to do a demonstration of the satellite uh, uh, check-in and um, I, I heard back from uh, Motorola and they um, they informed me that the, the Defy um, uh, dongle uh, can only trigger a satellite check-in it can't backward uh, cause a check-in with the uh, with the app if it has uh, cellular uh, connectivity which turns out to be quite a disappointment um, but it is what it is so I had to find a way to try and make it work for what uh, I would want it for and what I think a lot of people would want it for so this is going to be my workaround uh, and I'm sure they're not going to like it but it's uh, uh, I think it's the most plausible way to go so I'm going to use the um, my phone and the link um, and to send a text message to uh, my uh, my Google Voice um, uh, phone uh, online on my PC here and although it's impossible to install the app um, I won't uh, be able to get the uh, link I will show you what you can do so uh, it it turns out it, it's workable so uh, let me do a demonstration uh, but first before I do that let me go in and show you that uh, currently right now we're we're connected to the um, uh, via Bluetooth and we have a good uh, satellite connection um, the other thing is a couple points on the on getting connected on the satellite um, make sure when you turn it on that you're in a good spot that's that's kind of like a known good spot that'll receive uh, the satellite or otherwise it takes forever to try and uh, lock on if it boots up in a non-satellite area and then you and you, then you kind of walk out in what should be a good area uh, it just doesn't want to turn on you have to turn it off and turn it back on and then it'll lock on so it, it has that um, it, it has that issue with it so uh, do yourself a favor like I said and, and uh, turn if you want to do anything with the satellite turn it on um, uh, in a known good area um, but um, anyway we're connected here um, just wanted to show you that um, and I want to show you up here my um, I'm in airplane mode on my phone um, so I have no connectivity whatsoever uh, completely dependent on the satellite and we're going to do a little test uh, the check-in and see what kind of delay we get uh, I, I did it a little earlier and it responded pretty pretty quick uh, so we'll uh, we'll get a look at that and then we'll, we'll go from there so let's just do a check-in and see uh, what that looks like so I'm going to come over here click the check-in I got to take the button and slide it up until it goes away there you can see my rocket ship down here in the bottom shows a checking in here and I got the little orange tab up here to let me know it's, it was through the satellite and I just got a check mark on it like it 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 uh, uh, successfully launched out so we'll see uh, uh, what kind of delay so the clock starts ticking now and uh, when you're doing it through the cell network it's fairly instantaneous you when you do the check-in it's it's maybe a second or two before it log you know logs in so this will be a good uh, uh, demonstration of the of the lag time that you can get when you're going through the uh, satellite um, I know the other uh, reviews online have talked about the satellite being greatly delayed or not even at all so um, what I like about this one is you have this setup is you have a, uh, a sitting in place um, uh, in this case a computer simulating a phone but it's connected uh, to the uh, to the internet it's guaranteed it's no uh, flaky phone on that it was just in a bad cell when it was trying to download the text and etc etc so um, we're just uh, waiting to see how long it takes to pop up here. Um, a 
Hey guys, it's been uh, it's been five minutes now, so uh, still nothing showing up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try it again here and uh, see what happens. Come on, uh, Defy, this is your chance. All right, here comes uh, attempt number two. After uh, five minutes of no attempt number one. There it goes. Okay, let's see which one came in. Um, oh, well, it looks like they're both exactly the same here. So, all right, well, there you go. You saw how that worked. Let me uh, let me go ahead and show you the uh, the little uh, trick here. So we come in here and check on this message, and the um, you can see uh, it wants you to to respond after you've downloaded the app, and they're assuming you're on a, a smartphone, and we're obviously not going to do any of that because we can't, uh, and we're not going to reply. Uh, do not reply to the message either. Uh, it doesn't like that um, so but anyway what it does do is it gives you in the header of the uh, of the title uh, just so happens the exact uh, GPS coordinates here um, that um, you can uh, copy and then plop right over here to uh, um, Google Maps and put in and Voila! Um, you're uh, you're discovered, and um, so um, yeah, um, that's that's my workaround for it uh, is to um, have it check in with uh, with my Google here and only um, uh, have it one way. Um, I've I've gone in and done like I said in the previous video where we do the two-way and that's all great I'm not trying to uh, uh, lessen that I'm just showing for people who would want this for another use um, and um, so the video that's just before this one shows how on your cell phone you can do a location update uh, uh, hands-free um, and that would be your go-to and then this would be your back up if you're in uh, no man's territory with no cell service so um, just to uh, just to be fair to um, uh, Motorola and the bullet here let's uh, let's delete this and uh, oh by the way uh, before I do that I wanted to show you uh, I did go into my uh, my Google contacts and put in their phone number this is some California number that they use as a, a pseudo in between number I'm guessing they don't actually use the phone number of your cell device uh, but anyway um, um, that's how it actually says Motorola Defy I put that in my contacts so let me come over here and delete that so it just clears the screen out and um, okay so now we're back so let's go ahead and try the uh, test one more time and see if maybe the first time was uh, just a glitch but this should be a good indication that it it it's not a kind of a guarantee so let's try it again and here goes number three so um, yeah that first test I did uh, earlier this morning it was just a few seconds as well so that's why I was uh, I was uh, really happy um, And it looks like maybe attempt number three is getting clogged up. Well, that's too bad. Also, I'm a little bit suspicious here because um, it it showed uh, it's showing the same exact um, GPS. 
So I'm a little, a little bit suspicious about that because it's um, uh, it normally should fluctuate around, especially at that kind of degree of accuracy. And plus, I don't know if you noticed when I was hitting the button, it was it said something about estimating some GPS coordinates, which is kind of fascinating. We try that again. Establishing GPS location. Message not sent yet. Wait while your GPS location is updated. Wow. So, um, yeah, I've had it outside for quite a while now. Um, Not quite sure what's happening with that. Wow. Okay, well, uh, I think this might be a good place to uh, to end the video, actually, um, because. Uh, it, it doesn't look like it's it's ending on a warm and fuzzy unfortunately so um, yeah all right well um, there you go um, 150 bucks in the first year uh, services free so uh, I guess uh, one out of three ain't bad uh, anyway all right we'll talk to you soon